Hey everybody. Hey, there's a video out there talking about 2010 Genesis Coupe rotors and how to remove them. I just want to make a quick video to clarify some stuff that he didn't mention. Um, one, this screw here, um, he just shows you using a screwdriver. Don't do that. You'll strip it out. They're real soft. Get an impact and impact it out. It'll come out a lot easier. If you don't have an impact driver, there are impact screwdrivers you put in there and hit on the end with a hammer. That'll do the same thing. Something else he didn't show you was, I've already loosened this up for purposes of the video, but something else he didn't show you was he puts a bolt in here and presses the hub off. And he doesn't tell you where to get the bolt. I'm going to tell you what bolt to use and why, why it works. So anyway, this is the front of the car and where the caliper mounts, where this line mounts for the caliper right here, hold that clip, use that bolt. You got to loosen it up anyway. So anyway, that bolt is a perfect size for this operation. And the reason this works is because the threads of that screw in the hub are smaller. And if you look, there's threads in the rotor. And when you put this bolt in there, it threads into the rotor and it pushes on the hub. And when you tighten that up, it'll press the rotor off. And you might have to loosen it up and switch sides and press this one off. And if you keep doing that back and forth, if it's really tight, it might take two times or three, the hub will come off or the rotor will come off. And uh, that's something he didn't explain. Uh, be careful when you take these screws out with the roto hammer that um, once you get it to spin, you're gentle because if you screw up the threads, you won't get them back in. Isn't totally necessary that they go back in. The wheel holds the rotor on, but it makes um, putting the caliper back on a little bit easier. So, okay, I hope this helps everybody, and uh, thanks for watching.